setting up a planted aquarium. I want to buy every single one of these. Wow. It's special. Wow. It is special. Another day barrier. Another dollar. Another day, another dollar, another barrier. Here we go. All right, we are here at Barrier, and today we're going to be setting up a planted aquarium, freshwater planted aquarium, and uh, yeah, it's going to be dope. We're going to get a bunch of plants. We're going to get some some gravel. We're going to be setting up the old flower horn tank and making it that the planted tank. So we're going to go over here right now, pick up this bag of gravel. This is just for plants right here, an eco-complete planted aquarium substrate, so just what you need. And uh, this is $30 right here. So. We're gonna get one of these. It's black, it'll look pretty cool, I think, with the plants. The fish will pop real good. So we're gonna get these, and then we got a whole bunch of plants to choose from, and uh, we'll get a few of these, run home. All right, wait, wait, what do you guys think about little coal? That look at one of the is so look bad. Cool are, dude. Look at these guys, oh my god. Oh god. They're gonna, they're gonna attack I know, me. I would want that one. Dude, I would want that yeah, one. That one's That's sick. the best one, that's the best one. We're thinking about koi's right now, guys. Leave a pen. comment down below if we should get koi. We will make it happen. We've always wanted the koi. We were gonna, and when we build our new pond, the one that we're gonna put in the ground, which is actually gonna be in like a month, we're gonna start digging right away because right now we just don't have enough time with sports and school and everything. So we're gonna be putting a lot of koi fish in that pond and only keeping a few of our predators from the pond. We're gonna keep our tarpon, we're gonna keep our catfish, and I, then the gar, that's it. And then the rest we'll just do koi and be really, really dope. So, leave a comment down below if you guys want us to get koi. So we got our bag right here. Did you show them the driftwood? Oh yeah, 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 we gotta go get some driftwood. Driftwood, 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 driftwood. I don't know which one we want. Oh, nah, it's too tall. That's a cool one, though. It's too tall, though. Is it? Brooke, you think this is too tall? Yeah. It's no, too tall? No, cool as hell. How much? Oh, $50 put later, away, put yeah, away. put that back. We're not getting that. I think we just go with this one single driftwood. How much is that? This is huge. Okay, back over here. Back over here. Driftwood, 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 driftwood. This one, let's get this one. Let's get That one? That one won't turn it brown. That one's Can you flip it over, Brooke? Free. Free. <laughs> okay, right, maybe this? No, I like this. No? One. All right, we're gonna get that piece of driftwood. We gotta get some plants. There's Daryl. Daryl. What's up, Daryl? I wanna be on the video. Yo, you're in the video right now. <laughs> uh, all right, so Daryl's giving us some pointers on what kind of plants are good like for your tank, and uh, yeah, they got a lot to choose from. We're just gonna speed this up really quick, get all the plants right now. And again, guys, the koi. They're already loving Jack. We're getting one. I want to buy every single one of these. No, we're so getting so many koi. I'm serious. How many? How many koi's? 500 koi's. 800. 800 koi's. For sure. That's you like a lot of money, but whatever. All right, guys, we are cleaning this tank out now. Look at it. Arnold got it so dirty. Look at him right there. He's doing great. Still got this on. The lid is coming and the light is coming. We ordered them both, so we're gonna get those soon. But this tank, very dirty. We gotta clean this out, rinse it out, get it filmed, get it ready to go, and then we'll set up the tank. All right, let's do it. Oh my, oh my god, he jumps right out of the tank. That is not good. He could fly out of there. Look at him grubbing. I love that fish, man. He's probably gonna jump out and try to eat the camera. He's crazy. You can hear them chew. I know, it's so weird. You can literally hear them chew the pellets. Okay, so. Drench the power cord. Anyways guys, Jack just drenched the fluval power cord. We don't even care about that. <laughs> so, we have cleaned this tank out. Wow, night and day. That tank was very dirty. Arnold oh, was crazy. God, of course. So, now we're setting up the tank completely. We got our sand, we got our driftwood. We just got one piece of driftwood for now. We can always add to it. And we got some plants. So we can always add to this tank, so let us know. We have cleaned this tank out top to bottom, rinsed it out and everything, and scrubbed it. We did not wash the bio balls. We're keeping those. Right. They already have good bacteria. And right here. There they are. Beautiful. Filtered cycle. So, we're gonna get this thing rolling, put some uh, plants in there, put some sand. This thing is gonna look so good by the end of this video. I cannot, I'm so excited. We've never done a community style tank really ever. So now this is kind of our fresh real first one with fresh water, you know? So we're gonna, we're gonna make it look good. First things first. What sand. Is, is it sand or is it mulch? The Carib C, shout out Carib C. Oh, yeah. They true. always took it up. Um, Eco-complete planted aquarium substrate. So good. For plants, we're doing a planted tank. Oh yeah. Got our plants. 
A lot of them. Oh yeah. We've got our sand and our driftwood. Exactly. Let's do it. Open this bag, Chris. Nice. Okay. Hold on. Guys, we threw two pounds in hand. That was good. He's out there. He's vibing. I love that fish, man. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, I'm so, so good. So good looking, dude. Trusty knife. Yes. Open the sand. Just make a little incision right, here. Brothers. Here we go. We're dumping in the uh, sand now. Okay. Oh, let's go. Pour around the yeah. Oh yeah, a little, little bit over there. This is a lot actually. Yes it is. Oh my god, the, no the black's gonna look so good in there. See? Yeah. Right. Look at all the sand, man. Alright, water's not that dirty. Yes, Alright, the sand is in. Carib Sea Eco Boost. I'm getting the hose. Planted sand. Now it's time to do our favorite part. It's Chris, it's me on the other side. Right now. Thanks, man. It is hot out here, man. Oh my god, it's so it hot. Is. We're filling her up. Alright, guys, there we go. She's all filled up. Putting, just getting the sand all nice in order. And then we're going to put in the plants. Make this thing look good. That foot is really cool. It just stands up straight like that. Haven't seen anything really like that before, so it's coming along already really nice. Now it is time for the plants. Those are some beautiful plants. Now we just don't know where exactly we want them. It's going to be a little trial and error. Tank's a little foggy. It'll probably clear up by tonight. So it's looking good already. Gotta bio put, balls. Got to put the bio balls in and the plants. There's our bio balls. And here's our first look at the tank there. It's going to look way better with plants. Let's Hammer's get them in. Clear. All right, guys. Manager Brooke, she's the best at doing plant work. So as you know, this is going to be trial and error. We're just going to throw stuff in. See how it looks, and then just kind of move stuff around as we go. So as, uh, we want to make this tank look good, so we're starting with a few plants. We got one big one. This used to be a potted plant, and uh, they had it in a tank, so they gave it to us. And Jack is, what are you doing? Jack's got a, uh, you know, his nail is coming off. Okay, not not fun, but we're out to here to working hard, putting in these plants. That looks cool already, man. I really like that. Oh, that be, oh damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it, buddy. I know. Guys, camera is about to die. I'm going to fill this with uh, plants, and then I'll get right back to you. Okay, there we go, guys. It's done now. I love it. I, I think I'm not much of a fan of planted tanks, but that one, something about it. I oh, think it's the black sand. It's special. I love it. It's I special. It. it is special. That is a nice tank. Now, quick montage of the tank now. All right, guys, really quick before we go, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the pond situation really quick. We want to hype this up because I know you guys are going to be excited to see this pond. So as you know, we're building a pond over there in ground. Um, I start summer next week, so maybe we'll start next week. I'm not sure. But this pond, we're going to actually keep this pond. But we're going to be moving our tarpon, gar, and our catfish into the new one. And then everyone else, we're going to find new homes. But I'm not going to tell you guys yet what we're going to do with this pond. We have big plans. But... In regards to that pond, let us know down in the comments below what you guys want to see, what fish you guys want to see in it, if you guys want to see a waterfall, a mini pond next to it, a stream, anything. You guys let us know so that we can make it just like you guys want. We really want to do koi fish. That's why we're going to be getting rid of the paku and the sharks and everything and uh, get some really pretty koi fish. I, I, I love koi fish. So we, that's what we want to do in that pond. But who knows? I don't know what you guys want or your suggestions, so let us know down in the comments. I can't wait to start building it. It's going to take a long time and it's going to be really hot, but uh, it has to be done. So as you guys can see, that big pack who won't be in our new pond, he will. Because he, he can't harm a fly. All he does is want to eat and tries to bite my hands off all the time. We are going to be keeping the tarpon over there as you see him zooming around. But in order to have koi, we don't want anything to, you know, nip at them and really bother them. So pack who can't be in there. And uh, probably not the sharks, even though, I don't know if they'll nip at them, but, you know, you never know. But Paku definitely, Paku definitely will uh, nip at koi and everything. But obviously red tail won't do anything. They just suck down the food. So as long as the koi are bigger than the red tail, it's really nothing, nothing's going to happen. So and then maybe we can build little mini pond extensions off for our little turtle here. Or, you know, I don't know. We can do a bunch of things with this, but that's our plan right now. And uh, hope you guys are hyped about it. That is gonna be it for today's video. And in the last two videos, we've set up two tanks in a row, back-to-back -back tank setups. 
Tank room is coming along very well. All we have to do is get that 55 out and put our 125 in there, and then we're ready to go. So we have Arnold's tank here, just waiting for the light and lid. He is doing great. He loves his new big home. And we got our new planted right here. Can't wait to put fish in there, I'm excited. So the tank is coming along really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like the new tanks, and I will see you guys tomorrow in our next video. Peace.